2009 white MacBook DVD Super Drive replacement. Start by removing the 8 Phillips head screws that are holding down the logic board cover. After removing the 8 screws you can now lift up the logic board cover and move it out of the way. Disconnect the battery first. Begin by removing the four Phillips head screws that are securing the vent. Now the four Torque 8 screws that are securing the vent cover. Remove one DVD drive Phillips head screw. It's difficult to get to because it's on the side. Now disconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Remove the second Phillips head screw that's holding down the speaker. Now remove the Phillips head screw that's connected to the Wi-Fi antenna. You can now go ahead and remove the three Wi-Fi antenna cables that are hooked up to the speaker. DVD Super Drive Removal The Super Drive is held in with three Phillips head screws in each corner. Disconnect the drive from the logic board. Remove the three Phillips head screws that are securing the drive. You can now gently lift up the drive and remove it. DVD Super Drive Reinstallation Place the drive at an angle and tuck it into its socket. Secure it with three Phillips head screws, one on each of the left corners and one screw in the back. Reinstalling the speaker. Start off by bending the DVD drive screw holster and placing the screw inside of it. This will make it easier to reattach. Align the screw with the screw hole in the DVD drive and screw it in. Now attach the second Phillips head speaker screw. Reattach the Phillips head screw that's connected to the Wi-Fi antenna cables. Go ahead and reconnect the three Wi-Fi antenna cables. Place the vent cover back on. Reinstall it by first reinstalling the four Phillips head screws. Now the Torque 8 screws. There are four of them. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on. Secure it with eight Phillips head screws. It's good to perform an NV reset after every 
internal modification.